going on YouTube? I am a Champions Digivolved coming back at you guys with another episode of the Pokemon Go Nuzlocke. We are here, we are in a new town, and we are going to take on a gym. We're going to take on this one right here. What we're going to do, we're going to spin it, get our badge, get our rewards, and let's jump right into the battle. We got our Ga Gengars, and we're going to take on this Blissey. And it has a Psychic-type move. We need to get rid of it really quickly. So we don't lose. Okay. So it's got Dazzling Gleam. Oh, we're getting close. Okay. We took down the Blissey. That was really close. We got a Chansey next. We need to swap out because this is not going to be good. And we're, we're just going to keep cracking at it. Sludge bombing. Whew, not doing a whole heck of a lot of damage. And Chansey is going to use Hyper Beam. That's okay. Whew, those blissies are scary. Scary. But let's keep cracking away at it. Ah, we got it. All right. We got a Kingler next. We're going to keep going at it. Going to hit it with that sludge bomb. Taking it out. Kingler goes down. All right, we got ourselves an A-Palm as well. We're going to keep going. Keep fighting it. Oh, we need to swap. Throw out the Haunter really quickly. Whew! We are getting close. All right, we took down the A-Palm. Wow. We're going to battle the Spirit Tomb next. This one I'm not really looking forward to because those... Those dark types are going to hurt. We're going to swap right out. Whew. Really close. Weeping Bell is... Oh, oh, man. We are so close to losing somebody. Now we got a shiny Weedle up next. Wow. This one's going to hurt, too. We're going to swap... Again, take it out. Oh. That was a really close battle. So let's go ahead and do it again. We're going to heal everybody up nice and healthy. Give everybody their potions. Tip top up their, their HP. And we want that Gengar first. We don't exactly want that Ghastly in. But let's go with that sort of setup for this, this crew right here. Oh, and we got the zombie-looking Gengar outfit trainer. All right. So we're going to take on this Chansey once again. I think we have a better shot at it. The awesome part about the gyms here and the gyms in Pokemon Go is the more that they lose their their little heart force, life force stuff, uh, the weaker they get. So he's only down to 130. We're going to battle this Apom, who I believe has a ghost type move because he's been hitting us super effectively. And that's never fun to see. Whew. And we take the A-Palm down. All right. A-Palm's out of the match. We're going to battle the Spirit Tomb next. Not looking forward to fighting this guy either. This one is not very fun to fight. We're going to swap. 
before we get hit with ominous wind. Whoo! Spirit Tomb goes down. And we got our Weedle. Last but not least. Whew! This one, this one was a tough one. This one was not an easy gym. And we take down the Weedle. He goes down. All right. Wow. All right. We have to do it one more time because we have to clear all of the Pokemon in the gym. Or we do not get the gym victory. So let's go. We got this Chansey. And I believe we have the Spirit... Or no, the Weedle. I think it's just the Weedle and the Chansey left. So we're going to keep fighting them. Taking them out. Whew, hit it with a Focus Blast. Took out the Chansey. The Weedle's up next. He's only got six CP left. And we're okay. We like to see it. We like to see it. One shot. One kill. Bye-bye, Weedle. Great work. We defeated this gym. Whew! That was a tough one. And we hit level 15. Got a whole bunch of items along with it. That's great. Wanted to show you guys, we hatched an egg, and we got an Eevee. Awesome part is, is we caught an Eevee, so we actually get to keep it. So that's nice to see. I like it. So we're going to go. We're going to heal up our Pokemon nice and healthy again. Get them all tip-topped. And what we are going to do next... See the gyms around here. This is why I'm getting so scared of these gyms. You've got a shiny Roserade and a, and a Rhyperior. Just look at the CPs. Look at the CPs. Nothing to shake a fist at. No joke. Look at that. A 3330 Salamance. We would get destroyed in like 2.2 seconds. But we're going to head on down the road a little bit. Moving ourselves along. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are enjoying the Pokemon Go Nuzlocke series. If you like my videos, please check out my other series going on. We got Magikarp Jump. We got uh, Digimon Re-Arise. We got Pokemon Brown and Pokemon Masters. Um, please like, like the video, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, let me know what you guys think, let me know how you guys are feeling out there. Uh, trying to make this as fun as possible. This is a fun, fun series. I am really enjoying it. So we're heading off. I'm going to take a quick cut right here. I'm going to head on over to an, the next spot and we'll pick up from there and get our catch because we are in a new town. Okay, we're back. We're back here at the spot. And we found an Eevee. So let's go ahead and catch that Eevee. The awesome thing about this Pokemon Go Nuzlocke series is Eevee evolutions are random. So we have the ability to, to get all of the Eevee evolutions by catching Eevee. That is amazing. The Eevee line in Pokemon Go is seriously strong and seriously viable in competition uh, with the gyms and everything else. So we got ourselves an Eevee. But we're looking around here. We're trying to see what we wanna what we wanna catch. We got ourselves a team instinct gym. Look at that. At a Starbucks, no less. Our bag's full, of course. That is the limitation of this Pokemon Go Nuzlocke, is we can't, can't buy anything. So that kind of stinks. That we are, we're, we're just, we're stuck with what we got. So we're going to ditch some of these Pokeballs. Going to ditch a few more. Because we got some things that we want to get. We got to spin some stops. Because the stops are going to be very important. Because um, that is wonderful experience to help us level up earning gym badges. 
And we didn't get anything useful in that. So, there's that. Of course we didn't get anything useful. Why would we? So what we're going to do is we're going to... We're going to claim some quests. We got to catch five Pokemon. We got part of the mythical discovery done because we hit level 15 but we got to catch another Pokemon so we could see we could see what we can get you know we're we're progressing with the the research uh the Halloween event is over I hope you guys enjoyed the Halloween event on Pokemon Go and caught all those awesome Pokemon I know I did on my other account um see what they got for for news, you know, the the next Go Battle season starts November 9th. We're still looking forward to that community day. Community day. I like the Buzz and Magmar. That is going to be awesome. Going to try and find ourselves a whole heck of a lot of those because they are going to be so useful. I like the Vire, Magmortar, even though we don't have any of the stones to evolve them because, let's face it, you know, we're... We're still, still brand new to the, to this Pokemon Go account. So we need to get ourselves uh, another Pokemon. We need a friend. We need a friend. We're missing our friends. Oh, we got another Eevee. We like to see it over here. Level one, CP of 199 Eevee. With the great curveball throw. Let's see if we can't catch this one up. You know, per our Nuzlocke rules, we are only allowed to catch the Pokemon we currently have. Um, we caught our five Pokemon. What do we got? Lots of spawns. We got, oh, we got a Lillipop, a Tauros. Dot might not be bad. That would give us our dark type. It's also cacti. Cacnea, we got a Bulbasaur. Oh, I think we want the dark type. But we also, we want to make sure that we're catching at least some Pokemon that spawn quite frequently. Yeah, we're going to go with Seedot. Why not? You know, uh, they're not, they're not the strongest. They're not the most competitive. They're not the most viable Pokemon, but... They do offer a wide array of type coverage, even in Pokemon Go. And we caught the C dot. We love to see it. Let's go. So we got a 200 CP C dot. Quick attack, energy ball. Show you guys the Pokedex here. We got our Caterpie line. Charmander was our starter. The Weedles, the Nidorans. Y'all know how it goes. The Bell Sprouts, the Gastlies. Eevee now. Cyndaquil. We got our quests and hatches here that we cannot use. We got our C dot there. Another quest, Sableye. The quest, uh, Halloween Pokemon, the ghost types, and the Buizel that got caught and hatched from the egg. Same with the Yamas. Quest Pokemon. We can't use them, so we have to release them. And as you guys can see, we don't have any. So we, we're going to give some nicknames. We got to nickname our Eevee. And we got to nickname our Cyndaquil. And we got to nickname our C Dot. So Eevee. Eevee's like... Uh, we're going to name him Transformer. Because he can evolve into multiple different Pokemon. He is a straight Transformer. We got Cyndaquil. I'm going to name Cyndaquil. A name that I name all of my Cyndaquils. Which is Endeavor. Endeavor is a character in My Hero Academia. And he is a Fire Quark user. Now we got C dot, and C dot evolves. Uh, into Nuzleaf, who's got that really pointed nose, and I name him after 
Usopp. Usopp's one of the straw hat pirates in one piece. So if you guys like the video, hit that thumbs up button, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. You know, we're we're on that grind, on that push. You know, we're gonna do some some giveaways with some more subscribers. So please subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you guys feel, what you guys are thinking, what you guys like or dislike about the series. And I will see you guys in the next one. Go out there and be my champions. Bye.